Big E continues to celebrate its 100th anniversary in West Springfield. 22 News reporter David McKay has a look at who's responsible for bringing the bulk of the beef to the Big E. 4-H kids, head, hearts, hands, and health. If you're wondering what it stands for, they've been involved for decades, and they still hold the spotlight. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my hair to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. 4-H is a national program with nearly 6 million kids involved. It started in the early 1900s with after-school clubs to teach kids about farming and incorporated showcasing their skills at local fairs. 4-H clubs became recognized by the government in 1924 with the four-leaf clover bearing the four H's as their emblem. Head, hearts, hands and health. The Big E became a mecca for young kids to show off their agricultural skills in the Northeast and still is to this day. It's what we all look forward to. It's our biggest event all year round. I started when I was 12. I was 11. I was 13. Donna Wilhelm is the Director of Agriculture and Education at the Big E. She remembers her years in 4-H fondly. This is my champion market lamb ribbon and um, also my champion South Down U ribbon from 1965. Wilhelm says a lot of what 4-H'ers do has expanded from just showcasing their ag skills. Projects like robotics, um, archery, veterinary science, food safety. The list goes on and on, and there are dozens of 4-H groups to join. I'm part of the 4-H Massachusetts beef team, and uh, we deal with beef cattle. There's 18 members from all over the state just in the beef cattle group competing against Connecticut, Maine, Rhode Island, and New Hampshire. You have showmanship, which is when you go into the ring and you showcase your animal and you're showing your personal skills, not the animal. And then you have the regular show, which you're looking at the attributes and qualities of each animal in specific. It's no easy task raising livestock from when they were a calf. Being involved in some of these fair competitions for 4-H'ers has a lot to do with agricultural literacy and appreciation. Just for an example, this is the championship steer for this year. His name is Dagger. He could go for auction for about $15,000 right here in the Northeast. But if you were in the Midwest, he could go somewhere around $50,000. The president of the Eastern States Expositions, Eugene Cassidy, said that the sad truth is that appreciation for agricultural skills has diminished. Really what the core of the Eastern States represents is going to the, the culmination of our ag uh, production and, and, our, and our ag commitment. The future of farming is now in younger generations' hands. Teamwork, they really work as a team, they're learning responsibility because no adults were here, but we can't touch the animals, we can't touch a broom, we're only here if there's a safety problem or an argument. So they're doing this all themselves. Close the aisle down there. I learned everything. I had like zero responsibility. I was a spoiled brat, I'll admit it. Um, but it literally teaches you like those animals depend on you for their lives. It's more than a competition at the Big E. It's a way of passing down life lessons. While the demographic for kids in 4-H has been mostly rural in the past, the Big E has seen a growing interest from more kids in urban and suburban areas. David McKay, 22 News.